Well, this is the next project on What's Next Garage. We've got some upper head damage or just old age on this thing. We have a leaking valve cover gasket on this one. We're gonna pull the heads off, find out, uh, probably replace the valve guide seals, and find out where the oil's going. Stick around, here we go. All right. Today we're working on a grasshopper front mount lawnmower. It's got a Kohler engine with 725 cc displacement, so I think that's a 24 horse. So we've had this thing sitting for a while and we've got, I've got some oil on the floor and looking from the oil, where the oil is, you can see the, the plug in there. So I could take this plug and I could turn it by hand. The engine was overheated at one time. So we're gonna take a look at it and see what's happening. We'll remove the heads and see maybe if the head gasket's a problem. All right, stick around. This one's gonna be hopping. That's surprisingly clean in there. Yeah, it is. This is a nice light. I got it from the old Harbor Freight. It's a brawn. Sticks really good. All right, so you can see right here, one head or one intake bolt, and then there's one under here. So we should be able to get them both without a problem. This may hit this, so I may end up taking them off. Yeah, it's hitting. So these two are hitting, so I'm just gonna pull these off. And I just wanna make sure that this one goes back here and this one goes back here. So we're gonna just put them one and two. Or intake and exhaust. and we'll keep him all together. You know, it's shiny in there somewhere, but I don't think none of that's a deal breaker. Why is that stuck in there? Okay. And they look, they look good. 
And they look nice and shiny. Oops. And these don't look bad. And they're all the same size, but these have nice oily heads on them. So we know which one goes where. Now, oh, and that's it. It's gonna pull right off. Nice, look at that. Okay, so we're not looking bad on here, right? There's some carbon buildup on here. Exhaust intake, right? We can clean that all up. But nothing looks extremely horrible. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. And the push rods look very good. We took them out just like this. So one and two. Let's turn this a little bit and see. Oh. There's no grooving and everything is nice and smooth. So far everything looks good. All right, let's get the other side off. Um, otherwise everywhere else, that's the one side. So it looks probably like it rolled during assembly. Now would be a good thing. Pull it right out of there. Okay, so these bushings stayed in. This side, the valves are not all carboned up. This valve's not carboned up. And wait, I should say, this is not as bad as the other side. So this is cylinder head bank one. This is bank two. And again, and it's, it's got an arrow that says a flywheel that way. I don't know where the, I don't know where the locating pins, okay, they're in there on that side. Gasket doesn't look horrible. Let's get this rotated and then we'll check out. I mean, this is, this is super clean down here. You can see it says flywheel there. Here is like the manufacturer date maybe? Number one head may have been running properly. And then this number two side's got a little bit more carbon build up on it. And that cylinder looks the same as the other side. Yeah, I mean, you can read everything in there. And this one definitely is not as carboned up as the other side. Seeing as we're this far on this motor, we're just gonna pull it out. We've just gotta disconnect the drive shaft. We've gotta undo the stop for the electric clutch so that we can pull the belts off. Then we have a wiring harness here, starter stuff there, and then a couple of grounds and that's it. We're gonna do piston rings, and then we're gonna check out the oil pump and maybe we'll do the oil pump while we're at it. I want you back where you belong. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so that goes into that notch. So let's just, oh, that's pretty war. We got somewhere there, somewhere there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll weld that up and then grind that to give that a little bit more life.
<laughs> we can talk to him, see if he wants to get some new belts. Yeah, that idler is nice. Good shape. Okay. So, we got the belts. We're disconnected here. This definitely is not like a Chevy Equinox motor. Nor, nor guess what? It's not like a, you guessed it, a Pontiac G6. Uh, but this is fun no matter what. That should give us a free motor. Free willy. Oh yeah. Oh, things are falling. Yeah, that's gonna be a free motor. Um, I think we can lift it out of there now. Okay, we're gonna lift it out of there and we're gonna put it on that board. Okay. One, two, three, go. Ready, get set, go. Okay, step one, check. Don't forget this ring. Okay, step two, here we go. Oh boy, that's a chunk. That's a husky little musky. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the motor. Oh, that's round. That's a Torx. Can you believe that? That's a Torx. Maybe it'll be one of these. Nope. Huh. That's not the right size, but I'm using it anyway. Okay, it's all good stuff. Because really when it comes time to put the motor back in, I will have the whole motor all bolted back together. So we're gonna be good to go that way. All right, let's spin this guy. And then we're gonna tip him. Like this. Which gives us perfect. Because now we're gonna pull this clutch off. And then we're gonna, we'll, we'll pull this front cover off. Then we can take the pistons out. Yeah, this is, this all comes apart pretty easy. Let's get that off of there. Let's see if this thing's got enough snort to pull that out of there. Oh yeah, look at that, pretty easy. All right, I think we're doing just fine. I'm not gonna pull this apart yet till I get parts. So, it's gonna sit just like that. 